Welcome back, everybody. Back, back to the channel, I mean. <laughs> Hope you had a good Christmas and New Year's coming up. So, I'm going to upload this video tonight as an update video. As you can see, I have it in. Um, just this panel and the top panel. I did not fold it in because... When I put this on the test fitted, I kind of liked it, how it's flat. And then from the outside, it actually looked good. And it gives me more clearance for the gauges and stuff more than I anticipated. So I was like, you know what? That's cool. So I went with the flat route. Um, I'm going to keep all of the templates and all that in case in the future. Uh, if I want to make another project, uh, instead of doing it like this design, the Chevy Bison, this would be labeled as a Chevy Bison template. If I want to do Peterbilt, well, you know how Peterbilt is. Kenworth, it would be flat, and then a little bit here, or sometimes it'll straight flat. Freightliner, Mac. But this is the, the main part to keep of the template, is because it has the holes and everything for the, that, the froster. And then from left to right, you know, the dimensions. So it's good to keep, if you're building one, it's good to keep templates in case you want to re-engineer or make a new dash or or for another project so in this case <clears throat> the factory screws that came from the truck reuse nothing's going to be thrown away other than the plastic <laughs> um so the screws reuse them just put the u-clips u uh, let me turn on the light right quick so y'all can see um i put a little bit of anti-seize on them there's two on the bottom Two on top. There's a seven millimeter, or yeah, seven millimeter um, screws. There's one, two, three, and then I had trouble aligning this. So what I did was I took this off, um, put the three big screws back in to hold the AC um, duct work, and I got self tapping screw one, and the other one right there. And I self tap them. It's it stayed still. Put this on, lined up perfectly. So, um, so that's one good thing. Um, this is sheet metal. I don't remember the actual thickness. I do have the receipt though. It was one hundred and fifteen dollars for a four by eight sheet. It's over there. I'll go over there in a minute. Um, and so far, yesterday I cut this out. Uh, all you do is basically from your template you put it on top of sheet metal you trace it with the sharpie and then you cut it I you know it would have been probably faster if I had a plasma cutter or whatever but I used the Harbor Freight special uh, cutoff wheel and believe it or not for that whole entire piece and that plate on the driver's side it only used one this is the second one because uh, yeah that's how that was how much it took so for the top part and the panel there it takes one whole uh disc this one's brand new i used this to um the hell i used it for oh to start trimming you know extra pieces and and, and whatnot so it, it took only one disc for the top and the side so wait in that one i used a little bit like i said for trim here and there it makes it fit uh, snug not too loose or too tight but um so that's that's the second cutoff wheel i'm gonna use it for the bottom plate and whatever's left honestly because it's small that was the biggest piece that's what i took the most um and all those little dents are hammer hits um because i bent this with pliers and flattened out with the hammer and my dad bought that little uh, little deal uh, they sell their harbor freight one is a portable one you got to put it on the table like that to bend metal the other one's a big old actual deal but it's like 700 800 bucks so i was like yeah i'll just do it the old-fashioned way just get pliers and smash the hell out of it anywho so um i got this done yesterday and right now today all i did was uh uh make drill some holes put this together to make the video um honestly um, now, uh, my old man said, I recommended you to use aluminum, but hey, sheet metal works. I was like, the reason I got this, cause it was 115, the aluminum four by eight 
was uh roughly almost 300 bucks i was like yeah no thanks and that was just a regular flat aluminum i was like yeah and if i did would have got aluminum i don't know how sturdy it would have been this is good stuff um you can see where i cut out the top part and then the side part um so i still got enough for the passenger side i mean i even got some extra um let me see if i can try to use this uh this side of the the sheet metal instead of you just cut that in here but eh, i'll see what happens um <clears throat> and you can tell i got some new uh wheels on it these were the original ones on the truck the steelies i will keep these but the tires gotta go they're they're real bad shape i had these for a while now these are for a uh 2014 up to 19 silverado uh chevy silverado or gmc um 19 would be the next generation them ugly chevy trucks but they still made the what is it 16 the 18 model version but the 19 they called it the ld model silverado uh, it's kind of like a work truck model to me honestly but anyways um got these picked them up a town over for like less than 100 bucks they came with the center caps they're right there and um which one lucky meow meow anyways i got these up the they're they need new tires two of them are okay two-ish uh, they need some attention but uh i picked these up the other day for less than 100 bucks but these are actual paintable ones and these are nice nicer a little bit better tire but this is a 255 70 17 and I want to get at least a 265 LT 265 um these are nice but the reason I bought these and I saw these on on Facebook marketplace I'm always on that app I need to stop getting on that app anyways um the reason I got these is because these you can sand them a little bit and repaint them those are chrome and those I plan to polish the shit out of them and use those once this project is done if I go to truck show I'll put those on as chromes have them all polished out these are going to be daily driver uh wheels so these tires are going to go onto those rims those uh shiny chrome ones come on lucky yeah uh those tires on that wheel are going to go or rim whatever are going to go to this one these are going to be thrown away uh this is the bad one now there's like i said there's two of them that are still good those two are going to be put on those steelies just as spares um so those tires the tires that are on those wheels are going to be put onto this one clean them up for show for show only um but for daily driver and even towing because hey if i'm gonna build a little semi uh at least want to tow a gooseneck because it has a gooseneck hitch on the back uh, and it is a three-quarter ton technically now it's not gonna pull a big, big old heavy 26,000 pound load but it will haul up to 12,000 pounds it's possible that poor motor is going to be you know screaming but not really if you know how to use the damn truck um so these they're going to go over there and so these wheels are going to get brand new tires they're going to be cooper discoverers at walmart they sell them for 136 dollars a pop at roughly up to 500 bucks and that's what i don't know they uh that's without the warranty and all that but those are going to be lt 265 70 so they're going to be a little bit uh wider same 70 but a little bit wider but um these are going to be painted uh this is i'll either keep it silver or white and then these going to be the color match to the truck or even black and then with the center chrome piece you know old school i was going to buy through custom uh, custom offset the nice shiny uh polished or aluminum wheels that look like on the semis like a, 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 a colas or whatever they're called um but you know the ones with the circles um but these they look like the old school spoke dating wheels and i was like you know what it does resemble it so like i said paint the spokes just like uh the old school dating wheels would and you know just for simplicity of the of like the project and i got chrome ones and I got ones that are paintable. So, hey. So, win-win for me. Um, 
honestly, I don't know what else to say. Uh, other than the sheet metal, tires and stuff. Oh, another thing is that the exhaust manifolds have been leaking since I bought this truck. I like to upgrade the uh, the spark plug wires, cap and rotor. They're good. There's nothing wrong with them. And they're brass, so they're good. Uh, spark plugs are brand new. But the TBI needs a rebuild. And I'm getting performance parts on it because this has a performance intake. Now, why would you... I don't know who would put a performance intake, but not an upgraded TBI and no exhaust. So, it's kind of like... It's kind of like, oh, I'm going to upgrade one thing, but leave everything else stock. Well, it's not going to help the motor. It's going to breathe in, but it's not going to breathe out better. So, and then I don't know why this truck has this weird smog EGR pipe thingy majiggy. For a 95, I don't think they had that really. I know some of them still had the air pump or smog pump, but this one didn't look like it had before. It's just this weird pipe, and then they cap it off with like plumber uh stuff i mean I just, uh, like yeah like a plumber pipe deal anyways so the exhaust gasket's leaking and then the bottom donut ones <coughs> this side leaks but it's not even touching this i don't know i uh, i got the gaskets right there it's just i don't know if i want to get brand new exhaust manifold or actually get headers shorty headers from amazon and those supposedly give you a little bit extra horsepower, a little bit more torque, which I wouldn't mind. And they sound nice, a little bit better too. So, and it will bolt up to the factory white pipe because I plan to, on the exhaust, I plan to keep it three inch and then a single out. A dual would look retarded. I mean, a stack, exhaust stacks on the gasoline truck will kind of look weird this has a nice setup but i'll have to, i'm gonna cut it right here and this needs a muffler it can't be straight piped sadly not because of emissions but the noise this truck is loud super loud so a three inch all the way up and with a flap classic old school leave it like that dual would look more retarded and plus if it was going to be dual it would be two and a half but i can't really see the uh, this truck with two and a half and then that's extra money on the exhaust pipe so later on, that's a, that's later on. But for now, just the three inch pipe and the flap, and then go. If not, um, which, which it'll be nice as a straight pipe deal. But this gonna, I'm gonna put super tens on this Flowmaster super ten. But the exhaust pipe will be running here. The bed's gonna be gone. But uh, the three inch pipe, and I want to put the heat shield, like just like a semis. Uh, the only issue is I would have to find one. Because if I want to buy one, it's going to be expensive. If I find one used or beat up, hey, that's fine. It's, just, it's going to be for here. And if that's the case, leave that up here and then put a, a chrome tip. Uh, polished, or, you know, just like this. Clean it real polished. Right here. Facing that way. Or, you know, whatever. So I, I still got the ideas on that. Um, like I said, once the, the dash is taken care of the seats and all that but that's later on because this is all functional we'll just get this dash done and then work on the front end um i would like to get it inspected but with the current setup the exhaust i don't think they'll even inspect it at all like i said i don't have emissions but the sound is a thing and then plus these uh these seem better days <laughs> but plus when i do the uh when i if i do just change the gaskets um which I might just end up doing for now because I can't I can't stand the, the leak it has. Um, I'm gonna go buy the the little donuts too at O'Reilly's, so it would be worth to take apart, put everything there. But like I said, I'd rather I don't know buy the manifolds on the manifolds brand new from Rock Auto, both left and right with the complete hardware, uh, or just buy the headers with the complete hardware. But that's the later on decision. Um, but for now, I'll just fix the, the leak because it, it, it needs to be fixed. Like I said, that donut that's down there needs to, it's not sitting right on that white pipe. It'd probably be my fault, but, uh, I, uh, <coughs> I don't think it's leaking from there because I don't see any black soot. Despite the gas motor, I know, but, you know, 
there's there'll still be black soot because when you take apart the exhaust manifold trust me i've taken plenty of them there's black soot inside those holes so just the gasket needs to be replaced but either way i'm gonna repair that those two because the, the bolts the hardware is still good okay ish uh just change out the donuts and then the gasket you call it good and this does have a gasket apparently people i've heard that oh some of these didn't even came with gaskets which i wouldn't doubt it but this one is because i can feel the gasket that's falling apart in the back because that's where it's leaking anyways like i said tbi needs to be rebuilt it's running rich i would like the fuel fuel filter put some more gas in with some injector cleaner and all that stuff and then rebuild the tbi with uh, tbi spacer and all sorts of the stuff like just like i did with my other 95 project truck 355 because like i said it has a performance intake might as well do headers but that'll be later on um and figure out the uh, oh and do an egr delete because i don't need the egr stuff like i said we don't do emissions and it'll probably run a little bit cooler and run a little bit better so all i know i don't know how to do it exactly other than block that off with the plate oh yeah the tv there's a hole tube you just plug that up but <coughs> with the holes oh man and then the wiring, you just take it, leave it out there because apparently it doesn't throw a check engine light. And plus, this one won't have a check engine light because that's not going to be there functional because <laughs> there there's not going to be a light. Anyways, um, but once I start working on the uh, exhaust gasket and all that's because when I start taking most of the front end apart, cut here and, you know, but like I said, this one I'm going to do less like the dash, poster board and cardboard so I can shape it to the way that's going to be. Uh, I will put a body lift on this truck, maybe a three inch body lift. Uh, since this front end's gonna be gone and the bed's gonna be gone, it's just the cab. There's a uh, three, so six in total, I believe. S yeah, six mounts. Take those off and put the body mount. But I saw a video on YouTube. This guy had a blazer and he was gonna put a V8. It's a full wheel drive blazer. I can't remember the name of the channel, but uh, I'll throw a link in the down the description. I promise on that. Um, he bought the aluminum round bar, which are kind of like pucks, uh, three inch diameter, and he drilled a hole in the center. Um, they were an inch, but they were three inches diameter, one inch. I'm gonna need three inch by three inch. If not a little bit bigger, three and a quarter. So the, where I got the sheet metal, I don't know if they sell that round bar. If they do, I'm gonna need at least uh three i'll do the math later but i'm gonna need at least more than a foot uh so i can make the three inch body lift for the the cab because i plan to probably put a battery box or something on either side other than put it inside like originally planned but that's still gonna be where it's gonna be due to the situation but body lift put the battery box and then probably put an external um an auxiliary fuel tank because I can't remember if these are 20 or 25 gallon tanks, the factory. But I would I, I would like to add another fuel tank, more fuel. So, like I said, I would plan to haul something or go to truck show, make it look good. It's still all in the process, but either which way, this is going to have a body lift. And then with that, it's going to give me more room up here so I can put the coolant reservoir just like a, a big semi, you know, the metal one. But it's all in due time, all in due time. Um, that's all I got to say in the update. Plus, I've got to edit this tonight and upload it, hopefully. Um, but by then, I mean, work in progress. So, I hope y'all liked the video. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, like I said, and I hope y'all had a good holidays, good Christmas. Um happy new year's coming new year's is coming so happy new year's uh, i'll see y'all next year <laughs> i'm kidding but like i said tomorrow i'm gonna do the other i'm gonna record all that too since i'm already in the mood of bringing it back a little bit so yeah i hope you like this video it's a little bit short ish not really most of my videos are like 45 minutes long this is gonna be almost 20 so hope you like it like i said like and comment subscribe and i'll see y'all tomorrow